You know, they should they should have done. Uh, I know I know they, they should have done a Superman game with Christopher Reeve. But you know what? That gave me an idea. If they go on with this Batman game with Michael Keaton, and cause I heard these rumors that they're gonna with that the creators of these Arkham games are gonna do a Superman game with a free realm. This would be great if they if they go on with this Michael Keaton's uh, Batman game. We can, we can might see a cameo of Superman uh, uh, with the likeness of Christopher Reeve if his fan if his only if his family this uh, agrees with this by losing lose by you letting them you use his likeness for for the game like having Christopher Reeve like come back from the from the dead as Superman for one last time in the video game world only if his family give give them their blessing you know that'll be that be that would be interesting they did it in Man of Steel where he's holding up the. Uh but he's fighting the tentacle things, the earth, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, where, where the, the, the light is shooting they, down at him. Yeah, and then they put in Christopher Reeve's face, and yeah, then it comes back. That. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I bet it, that'd be cool in a Batman game. I just, um, but yeah, I, I would, I mean, I've said this already, but Michael Keaton, I'm especially nowadays when they're bringing back stuff from the past, and Michael Keaton still in the spotlight, still getting recognition, um, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to see him come back as Batman in some form. Yeah, I would even love to see like an animated third Batman oh. film with Michael Keaton in it. Oh, that I, I I'll, I'll be I'll be there in the first the first the first first role, baby. First role for me. Well, imagine if like Batman. Tim Burton did like a claymation Batman. That'd be cool. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> claymation. Jack shows up. Jack and Sally show up. <laughs> like one of those holiday movies. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, what do you have, like, overall thoughts on this? Or what's your overall okay. thoughts? Uh, okay, Mike, I want to go first because I love... I. I've always loved Batman. Uh, of, course, of course, the 89 movie. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, get, I can be back in a second. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Take it away. I, I love Michael Keaton to death. Uh, back when he was fun, back when he started out when he, as a funny man, and then to Batman, a serious actor with Beetlejuice and everything. He's come a long way. And I'm glad that he's making this big comeback. Uh, and and I think oh, with the way how video games are so popular, along with the along with especially with films turning into into video games, of course the Batman Arkham games and how the comic book book genre has, has become high, huge and ever. I think I think it will be just like how we mentioned with Liam Neeson coming back as Darkman. I think his career will be even will, be, will go the next level if he returns as Batman in this in this in this trend of video games. Most definitely, I think I love I love I I, really, I enjoyed the Arkham games. I enjoyed the the of course the the iconic Batman game for the NES uh, based on the first movie. So I think it will definitely be interesting if Michael Keaton came back. As Batman in the video game world, and and even take his career to the next level, I think it'll be an even bigger comeback for him, just like with Tim Burton. Uh, besides Beetlejuice too. Yeah, definitely. And to be honest, I'd rather see this than another Beetlejuice. I mean, I know I'm probably alone in that, uh, but it's like I said about Tim Burton. I mean, lately he hasn't done anything impressive, and I don't think of Beetlejuice too. He's going to do right, but at least with a, a video game and Batman. You can bring my, you can bring back Michael Keaton, and you can play with that. You, you can do stuff with that, um, especially now when they're still making Batman video games for the current systems. They're bringing back voices of the past. I mean, for I mean, they still have Kevin Conroy voice the character. And, of course. You know, they have Mark Hamill still providing the voice of the Joker, and you know, I. I don't see what's wrong with bringing in Michael Keaton to do another installment. You know, I'm not talking about Val Kimmer or George Clooney. <laughs> um, but or Christian Michael, Bale. Christian Bale. Um, not even Ben Affleck. But Michael Keaton, to me, is Batman. Uh, people would disagree. And that's fine. Uh, but I would love to see him come back. Definitely. In that form. I, yeah, yeah, it's, it'll be a it'll be a huge treat for me, most definitely. I mean, I mean he, I mean he's come a long way, and I I would love for him to come back with the way his career is now. Uh, the uh, 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 toys he made a big comeback with Toy Story three, and the other guys, of course, with Birdman, and and 
and uh, and of course his recent movie Spotlight. I mean, it, I I think he uh, for, uh, forget the shitty RoboCop remake, of course. <laughs> yeah, forget about that. But but I think him coming back as Batman now in the video game world is 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 perfect for him because, like I said, it's a huge trend right now, turning films into movies and. And video games has become bigger than before. Of course, the Arkham games are be popular. Of course, the the comic book genre has been even bigger, has gotten bigger than before. Thanks mostly thanks recently with Deadpool and all these and all these uh, TV shows and films. I mean, it's 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 the perfect time for Michael Keaton to come back as this character, but in this but in the video game realm, most definitely. I I believe it's going to happen. I truly believe it's going to happen. I truly believe that. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, but kind of shifting over to some questions, and I wanted to throw out a few questions for Matt and Wildman here, and then kind of shift over into some movie news. Um, and the first question I want to ask for both of you, and if you and if you disagree with this, that's fine. Um, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with uh, what we're about to say here. But here's my question. Do you guys feel, and... If, which, if you don't agree, that's fine. But do you feel in the way that the ridiculous fan theories and the videos like Cinema Sense are causing classic movies to be diminished? I can see it in a way. I believe it's getting a bad name. Yes. Of course, the big example is that those shitty theories with the Karate Kid, like how Daniel was the bully and Johnny was was the was the real hero, and it's so fucking 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 stupid. It's fucking retarded. I, I don't mean retarded. I'm not trying to offend anybody who's disabled. It's, retarded doesn't doesn't have to deal with uh, any, any, it, it, It's been dumb. Been doing dumb decisions. That's it. Doesn't. No, don't get me wrong. And uh, no, I'm not trying to offend. It, that retarded means a different. Is a different. Means something different. It doesn't have to mean anything why by disabled. Just that. What you making? It may be making dumb decisions. Making dumb decisions. Yeah. Making. Uh, you know. It's and this is a dumb. This is a dumb theory. It, it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because didn't you say recently, Matt, that uh, they did the same thing for Toy Story? Yeah, they did Toy Story. Uh, they did. They did a bunch of them. What I've been the guilty of myself of doing that, I though. I didn't hear about that. What was the theory on Toy Story? That uh, the kid was the bad guy, and the other one was how all the movies fit together. The fan theory of... Uh, there was another one on... The kid's mom, Andy's mom. I can't remember what it was, but there was like a big fan theory going around about her. But I've, I've been guilty of doing that in the past, too. I've said that, you know, I believed Ram, uh, First Blood took place in 1979. And a lot of people jumped on me for that. But I can I can see that, like, because they kind of oh, no. dig it up. They kind of dig up these old ghosts and, I don't know, I... We live in a world now where everybody picks everything apart. They they pick the animal apart before it's even dead. You know, they're stripping the carcass while it's still alive. Mm. Yeah, why do you think that is? <laughs> I think because... mainly because Hollywood hasn't given us what we need yet. You know, they haven't... Stayed... You know, you look back at practical effects. You look back at... You know it can be done, but they just... They just try to flip the buck of going really cheap, and you know everything's on a budget, and this will sell. So, who cares how good it is? Let's just do it. There's no love for filmmaking, I find. And the films, you notice that the films that really do invest the love and the time and the effort into, they're always skipped over. You know. Exactly. I think Deadpool, in a way, is going to fall into that is going to fall into that, where people are, you know, they're going to try to pick it apart like that, too. But, you know, the thing I like about Deadpool, like I said before, was it just it just goes out of itself. Like, it just, it's just, it's just one of these experiences that, man, like, they, they just cross every paradox they can, and then they leave it to you to decide on your own. It's just like, in the Marvel, is it out of the Marvel? Like, they really do cross paradoxes. They'll, they'll cross paradox to other Marvel movies, then they'll jump out of the Marvel Universe, bring it into the real world, and talk about the characters who are playing, the characters in the Deadpool movie, 
Then they'll, like, draw a line to, like, the Wolverine movie. They'll bring in the old Deadpool. They'll, like, you know, it's, it's awesome, like, how they do it. So, yeah. But, you know, like, Hollywood, Hollywood just, I just really think they don't, you know, it's kind of like when Dread came out. Like, Dread was really well done, r really well, like, you could see the love for it. Um, with the budget they had and everything, they really made it work. And they got no recognition. No greenlit sequel because it was R-rated. You know. But I think Deadpool will break that mold. Most, I believe, I believe too. I think, I, I, I think I, the, the, the film companies will say, okay, you know what, it made so much money that... Isn't it the highest grossing one now? Yeah, for like February and... Yeah, yeah, especially for a February release. Yeah, I think it's already made like 140 million. I'm just kind of round trying to round it off, but ooh, 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 yeah. But I mean, get back to the question at hand. I think, I think a lot of it too is that today, especially. Um, I know I keep saying this word, but the current culture generation, if you want to say, I think they're just they're ashamed. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a smear job of the past and picking apart something that doesn't need to be picked apart. It's like trying to do a a whole equation. Yeah. It's like I mean, movies are not an equation. It's a uh, it's an art. It's um, and at the same time, it's a lost art because there's no appreciation anymore. Yeah. I, and you think about this counterculture we live in, and you think of all these parents who say, "Okay, you know what? I don't want my kids going to see this movie." But they'll list. They'll let their kids listen to Beyonce, you know, so, satanic music, or, or, or Miley Cyrus. Or yeah, right. and they'll totally say, "Okay, you know, my kids can can do that." How many videos have I seen online with fucking three year olds doing stupid dances and singing to Miley Cyrus songs? You know, they're they're, they're even fucking twerking, doing fucking twerking for fuck's sake. Exactly. Like, so you would think that you know. With the counterculture we we live in, these kinds of movies would be embraced more. It wouldn't be us, you know, cinephiles who love film that would be the only ones who would, would come to the rescue of these great films. Oh, the, 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 the guy on cinephile, I love those guys. Yeah, so it's just it's just one of those things where you got it's like it's it's kind of like the the parents are being two faced. You know, in a way. Yeah, so in regards to cinema sense too, when they have to find, let's say, a thousand things wrong with Raiders of Lost Ark. Yeah. And what pisses me off is that they call it critiquing. Yeah. But anything from 2010 on, um, they they don't want to touch on or. Yeah. It's like it's everything from the past. But I mean, that's just me. It sounds like fucking hypocrisy to me. Yeah. And, like, you know, there's some movies, like, I'll still love, even though I don't agree with, like, Die Hard. Die Hard 4 and 5. I don't really like 5. But 4, you know, I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. It was a lot better a couple of times after i seen it. But, you know, when it comes down to me, I love practical. So, I'd rather see Stallone ride a horse with a fucking helicopter 10 inches above his head shooting at him than, uh... Than John McClane jumping off a jet. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I can agree with that. And not having a scratch on him while he's sliding down fucking pavement all the way. I still, I still like Die Hard 4. I mean, yes, Die yeah. Hard 5 has problems. Um, and, you know, in regards to Die Hard 6, I fucked the prequel idea. I was, I was talking yeah. to Craig Cohen from Slycast, and, and he was saying, it makes you wonder what they're going to do with Die Hard 6. Because... At that point, wouldn't you just remake the detective movie? Because Die Hard's based on the Frank Sinatra detective movie, right? So wouldn't you just remake the detective instead of doing this Die Hard uh, time traveling prequel that they got coming out? Like, yeah, it's like a prequel sequel hybrid. Yeah, it kind of it doesn't it doesn't give the first movie any justice because 